talking about balls deep. I'm talking about balls deep. I'm talking about balls deep in love. What is up, folks? It has been a hot minute since I've done a video. I understand that. I have been sick. And that is the whole reason, again, why I didn't put up pictures from the second day of Vikings Con. Whoever was paying attention to that. But I'm back. We're going to do a video from Miss Amberlyn Reed. The video is called Come Shopping With Me, Huge Makeup Haul, Halloween 2019. Before we start that, again, for anyone who is paying attention, yes, I did two days of Viking Con again this year. I had a great time. First day, I dropped a small, tiny, little, short video for you guys to show a little bit about what was going on. <coughs> the, the second day, after spending most of the day out in the cold and wind, I woke up the next day feeling like absolute shite. So the first day I was outside at the little battlefield setup we had, and the second day we had a booth inside of the Great Hall, is what they were calling it, but it's a, a giant hall full of different booths and things. They had people showing off like jewelry and ironworks and stuff like that, you know, things of that nature. Uh, we had a booth in, inside there, and because I was sick, they stuck me in that booth and I talked to anyone who had any interest in, you know, our business. Um, at first I was kind of angry about it, well, because I was sick, uh, but I totally got over it pretty freaking quick. And let me tell you why, ladies and gentlemen, and you'll enjoy this story. Um, because our booth was right across the way from the special guest booth. And like I said, this is called Viking Con. And it is loosely based on Viking culture and the show Vikings. And as you know, it is filled with bearded, sexy men. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Well, their little guest this year was Clive Stanton. And he is... He is something glorious to look at, let me tell you. I will throw in some pictures right here. I got to stare at that all day. Yeah, I felt like crap, but I wasn't mad about it. Nope. Wasn't mad about it. Um, I can honestly tell you that, that guy is awesome. He's very sweet, and he is freaking hilarious. Yeah. He let a gigantic man dress like a viking lift him up as, like, in his arms like he was a fair maiden to take a picture with him. Anyways, you guys know how I like to do my videos. We watch a video together, cringe in unison like the family that we are. Comments where comments are due. So, let's jump into this video. It's been a hot minute. I apologize for me being sick. Probably sound like I've been smoking six packs of cigarettes and then eating the butts, but we're just going to move on. So, let's do this, shall we? Hey guys! I don't feel like saying hi. I'm just not a people person. So, welcome to a new vlog. I don't know why, but the power just went off for two seconds and then came back on. It was like a flicker. It's a ghost. <laughs> There's no storms, blue skies. It has been raining two days in a row. We needed it because it didn't rain for like months. Still trying to be a meteorologist. We're still doing this. You gonna give me my seven day forecast next? No joke. So yeah, I'm just, just got out of the shower, just getting ready for the day. I just wanted to come on here and say hello. I'm pretty aggravated. I have been waiting for the Shane makeup and merch and this and that. like. 
I've been waiting like a crazy person. I love Shane so much. I've loved him for so long now. His series, I cried at least twice every episode. I'm sorry, what was that? Did you... Did you make... Did you say twice? Did you make... Did you... Did you try to make twice past tense? That's not a thing. You can't... You can't do that. Can you? No, that's not a thing. You can't make... Twice? Yeah, you can't make a number past tense. That's... It's not a thing. Every episode or video, whatever you want to call it. It was so oh, heartwarming. Like, I don't have words for it. So I haven't had an alarm set on my phone. Like, I literally sat there for an hour waiting to buy the makeup. But Shane is amazing. So he broke the internet and it wasn't working. So I sat here for three hours refreshing the page every five minutes. And just now, which is, it's been four hours now, I went back on and everything I wanted is sold out. <laughs> so that's my luck. And I know that he's going to restock and I'm just so proud of him. I wish I could like tell him, you know, I look up to him so much. And I think that's a really big reason why I've been getting into makeup. I've always like loved makeup, but I've never, you know, done the eyeshadow and done the highlight and all that stuff. Like it's been very gradual. And seeing him, like, just has inspired me so much. And I love creating new looks with my makeup now. Am I the greatest? No. Am I even that good? Probably not. But it's fun. Anyways, I kind of have a busy day. Tomorrow's our little party situation. So I have quite a few things I have to pick up from the store. We're actually going to go hang out with some friends that we haven't seen in a hot minute. And it's just, it's kind of a busy day today. So... Hello. Oh my god. It's too bright. There we go. No, I think I prefer this way. So we have a surprise. Harry Potter lives with us. <laughs> Isn't she the cutest thing? Poor Destiny. Oh. I mean Becky. I meant poor Becky. Oh, screw you guys. Decky's starting to look like Destiny. Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's not fuck around. Oh my god, it's bright. She got glasses. Oh, babe, they turned into sunglasses. Yeah, but it's still bright. Holy crap. Those puppies were almost $300. Tell me why. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm next because I should be wearing glasses, but... Hashtag can't see, she would say. <laughs> I should be wearing glasses, but mine broke forever ago and I still haven't gone. What? She's maintaining, guys. Just wait and see what she gets. You'll see. It's going to be something healthy. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was going to be something out there. It's not. I guess she's not maintaining. So, we just hung out with some friends, and now we are getting stuff for the party tomorrow. And look at what I ran across a whole thing of mochi. Yay! More shit you shouldn't be eating. Hashtag maintaining. I'm literally shooketh. Becky, not amused. You look like you're about to fall asleep. I don't like it. You don't like this? <laughs> okay, you guys, so it's the next day. Halloween party. One of the games is guess how many candy corns is in here. So I'm in the middle of 
counting them while no one's home. And there's just a lot of other games I have to organize. So you guys should leave your guess in the comments below of how many you think are in here. And I can reveal it in my next vlog if I remember. So you guys have to remind me. So leave your guess down below. First off, I now can guess what your costume is. Considering you're wearing Mickey Mouse gloves, what it looks like in the picture with you pointing all over the place. Your hands look all bloated and big and huge and white. So it looks like you're wearing Mickey Mouse gloves. So being that you're a woman, you're going to be Minnie Mouse, aren't you? Nailed it. I know I did. And why would we put the number of candy corns in the comments section? You don't read the comments, remember? And what are we, in the third grade? Are you having a Halloween party for third graders? What are we doing here? What do you mean games? I guess we come from two different worlds because in Maryland, a Halloween party is a keg. This is like aesthetically pleasing for a Halloween party. <laughs> Hang on, you're playing a Halloween party. I'm gonna get you a thesaurus for Christmas. Aesthetically pleasing. Cute, super cute. You're getting a fucking thesaurus. Super cute. Aesthetically pleading. So if anyone's curious, these are actually the games I have planned. There's gonna be a candy corn guess that I just showed you. There's also gonna be guess the size of the pumpkin, like the weight of it. There's gonna be a trivia contest, a costume contest, an obstacle course, Halloween scramble, which is where you unscramble a bunch of Halloween words. This, don't mind this, it's because there was gonna be 13 games, but I merged two games together, which was candy corn and pumpkin weight. We're gonna play a few games of spoons. It's a card game. We're gonna do a Halloween art contest, an eating contest, a doll poem. We're gonna like compete who can do the best like spooky poem and they have to like read it out in front of everyone. That's gonna be so funny. There's gonna be a sca scavenger hunt, what's in the box and a pumpkin picking. So um, every single game, if you win, is worth an amount of money. And this one actually is, the pumpkin picking. It's where I write down different prices. A lot of them have zero dollars, but you just pick a pumpkin and whatever it says on the bottom is how much you win. This is the last game of the night. It's more calm and collective and it's for people who like didn't have a chance to win other games. This one's more so like luck, if you will. This is a, this, this sounds like the lineup for a fucking third grade party. And just to let you know, if one person on the list of people who sign up to bring shit doesn't bring it, the whole party collapses. So if one person doesn't bring their item, say plastic forks, paper cups, napkins, bowls, something of that nature, we're boned. Yeah. What are these games? You're almost 30. Who's coming to this party? Who the f is coming to this party? You ever go to a party just to hang out and talk to people? Sip some beer? Okay, the trivia I can understand. Trivia sounds sweet, but who's gonna do this obstacle course? Please say it's you. Please, in the love of God, say it's you. Tell me you're gonna vlog it. I've been so good this year. Please tell me you're going to do this obstacle course and you're fucking going to vlog it. I'll do anything for that. Anyways. This, this, this sounds like too much. This sounds like a party that people are going to have to put on a show for you. It's like you're making people perform for you. This, this reminds me of the third grade. 
It's like the teachers sent home a notice saying the party's going to start at this time. Please make sure you bring in the item that your child signed you up for. And so and so, and so and so has a peanut allergy, so send nothing with peanuts in it. Because you'll kill those kids. This party's going to be a disaster. I've never been to a party like this before. Except for in elementary school. And I hated it then. But Miss Chesley's cupcakes were awesome. I miss you. The best cupcakes ever. So, this isn't quite everything, but here are some of the finger foods, donut holds, covered raisins and whatnot, cookies, chips, dip, salsa. I did a beautiful cracker and cheese and salami thing. I did that myself. I'm very proud. Trail mix, green olives, veggies, fruits, pinwheels, shrimp. These are like pesto mozzarella things. Dana's gonna be making a dip. Becky's sister is bringing these like ham roll things. And her pleasant personality. Do say she's bringing her pleasant personality too. She'll be the life of the party. She's such a sweetheart. And then Eric and Ricky are making pigs in a blanket. Yum. Okay, you guys, I think it's time for a costume reveal. So here's a hint. Okay. <laughs> His name is Crooks Shanks. Okay. Ready? Dun -dun -dun! Hello, my name is Hermione and I'm going to cast a spell on you. Okay, that's kind of hocus pocus. <laughs> but yeah, I'm Hermione. Hello, nice to meet ya. Part of Gryffindor. And Becky's on the floor doing something with spoons. I'm gonna do a spell on you. And you are going to love Kate Winslet more than you do now. Oh wait, that's not possible. Last I heard, you only saw like the first movie. Did you read more, or did you see more of the movies? Maybe read a book, some shit like that. And why didn't she say something like Levio saw? Or, I don't know, Expelliarmus. You know. Some of like the most used shit. That's suspicious. I mean, come on. You got nothing? Okay. Just thought it was a cute costume. At least you knew the cat's name. Check it out. Look at me. <laughs> I'm trying to go for, you know, someone who's back in the 90s and, you know, I'm trying. <laughs> you look so cute. Look, show them your hat. That's very 90s. The shirt, the sunglasses, you have a little snap bracelet. The pants she actually got from Amazon just recently. So if you guys want to look like a 90s kid, look at those sunglasses. Woo! This outfit is 90s overkill. The hat reminds me of Saved by the Bell. The shirt reminds me of the movie Gleaming the Cube. Awesome skater movie. This is also the premiere of those uh, American flag Chuck Taylors. Premium Chuck Taylors. They were actually on Tony Hawk, if I remember correctly. A very young Tony Hawk. It was a very cool movie. It's one of my favorite skate movies back in the day. And those pants, the parachute pants, MC Hammer pants, hated those pants. Like, everyone wore the stupid ass pants. I hated them with a passion. It always looked like they had a boner. They didn't. They had stuff in the pockets. I hated those pants. 
They went well into the 90s, 80s, the late 80s, early 90s, and they just wouldn't go away. Even when they sucked, people still thought they were great. They were so ugly. Made you look like you had a fupa even when you didn't. Dear God. <sighs> Jean-Claude Van Damme loved him though. Ooh. I guess they made his karate work. That's how they turn on the karate. Who knows? He looked good in him though. Chuck Norris too. I guess they were karate pants. <laughs> Mario. I can't with it. And you can only imagine what Ricky is. Five guesses. <laughs> Five guesses. <laughs> They're going to win the costume contest, I feel like. Oh my God. General consensus, say yes. <laughs> Becky's Sorry. like dead. People keep asking about the mattress and the thing. You want our response? It's because Eric and Ricky like... <laughs> 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 no, it's because sometimes my legs hurt. So, oh, you see that? Did you see it? It's so adorable when she does that. You didn't catch it? Oh, well, let me explain. See, <sighs> little Mario and Luigi there were getting too much attention. So she had to bring it all back on her. So the whole bed thing came in, so, it, so she decided to just drop a little nugget out there. And then, you know, do that thing she does where she's hinting to something being wrong. So people can worry about her. Do that thing where they inquire if she's okay. And then she can do that, just really, you know, I'm fine, stop pushing, I'm private. And then eventually people get pissed off at her. Men she can call them bullies. Gotta love it. She does that well. She's probably gonna leave that out there too. So when people show up, she'll have to, have to explain something. Which then brings the attention back onto her. <laughs> She's good. It's like Munchausen by proxy, but without children. It's with an inanimate objects. It's great. She's very good at this. She should write a book for crazy people. How to get attention with shit. Just visible shit. It's really getting boring. But yeah, looking good, folks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm ready to take on Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> I should have been Bowser. No, I would have been Daisy, you know damn well. No, I would have been Peach. Actually, I don't know. Well, I mean, yeah, you could have been Daisy. She's annoying. <laughs> Zinger! Okay. <laughs> Oh, my finger. <laughs> I'm sorry. You just lost it. Well, they're trying like, to get a group picture right now. See, I'm talking about like where the girl, the vine, when she's just recording, and she's like, or the calculator's on, and she's supposed to be taking a picture. Yeah. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Okay, Dana, what are you? I'm one of the Hex Girls. I'm Dush, the drummer from Scooby Doo. You look so cute. I'm like dying over it. I'm Squid from uh, Rocket Power. <laughs> oh or my Sam, God. whatever you want to call him. You guys are good. I'm just so glad it's not a couple's costume. <laughs> Caddy Twat, table of one. Hey guys, so it is the next day. Um, You can't see my choker because hashtag. Hashtag hungry, hungry hippo neck. We're just at the bank right now pulling off some money. I prefer just to have, you know, a little bit of money. I prefer using money. Anyways, that's besides the point. But um, we're just about to go grab a bite to eat with Dana and Destiny. Money. Is the money didn't come out. Oh, it what? What do you do when that happens? You have exceeded daily transaction limit. Let me try 1000. We haven't transacted anything though. I know. 
I swear, our bank is on drugs. But yeah, we're gonna go grab a bite to eat. Afterwards, Becky actually is gonna stay at her mom's. That's why there's a pillow back there. So I'm just gonna go in Dana Destiny's car. I'm not really sure what we're gonna get into, but I just wanted to say hello. <gasps> okay, I didn't even see that. So we're in TJ Maxx right now, looking at the Michael Kors, because you guys know I love Michael Kors. So far, I got some makeup, brushes. I might get this. I'm not sure yet. Hey, look who's got a cart full of shit she doesn't ever need. Hoarding much? TJ Maxx does not mess around with candles. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. So we're now at Walmart. I do want to say I'm very proud of myself. We were in TJ Maxx for easily over an hour and I did really good in there. Um, they don't have scooters, obviously. I'm in one now because I am exhausted. <sighs> I didn't walk the whole time in TJ Maxx, but I walked a lot and I sat down a lot because there was like a seat. You know, Amber, I know exactly what you mean. Cause like, if I can just steal a bunch of shit and hawk it to get my drugs, and I just smoke like fat pound of crack. If I can just get through the day with that fat pound of crack from just stealing everyone's shit and hawking it and not like, you know, selling my body for my crack, I'm really proud of myself too. I'm super proud of myself. That's how stupid you sound. That is exactly how you sound. That's dumb. But you guys look. Christmas has arrived. I am so excited and so pumped. Like they have the cutest things at Walmart. The cutest little ornaments. Like look at that. And it's all color coded. I'm sure every single store has it color coded. But I just think it's so awesome. But I'm about to go look at the makeup. Because I'm makeup obsessed so i really want to start painting my nails and i really like this color by essie bear with me and i think i'm gonna get a few more surprisingly that's a vast improvement i say take it with you wear it all the time can't hurt actually it's helping you guys ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, am I showing you? I can't see it. I think I'm ready to see you. I'm a little scooter. <laughs> okay, so I got home a little bit ago and I'm about to show you guys something. Don't judge me, please. I have been experimenting, experimenting. <laughs> I have been experimenting more with makeup and I feel like it's finally time. And I'm sure if you guys have been watching my channel, look at that beautiful girl back there. I'm sure if you guys have been watching my channel for years, you guys know that I've slowly graduated introducing new makeup into my life. Oh, um, where to begin with this one? Um, you have been slowly but surely getting a lot more makeup. Um, unnecessarily, because we've, you've still been just doing the same bullshit you've done before. I haven't really been seeing too much extra experimentation. You've put, like, some sparkles on in some places. Every once in a while you put on some eyeshadow. But nothing too drastic. Plastic wigs that comes with it is astronomical and is unnecessary, especially with the frequency you use your makeup. It's, it's like you've fallen into another fad that you're never gonna do. Half those journals and shit just sit around collecting dust and then you either throw them out or give them away. Candles, outfits, perfumes, your earrings will probably ne be next thing start handing out and giving away. 
because you just got too many. You gave away earrings at one point, the studs, because you wanted to have hangly dangly ones. I mean, this is just a, this is just ridiculous. But you do you. And you know everyone's going to judge you because you do this horse shit all the time. But hey, we're all bullies here. But we're supposed to sit back and just let you do it. Even though you post it on the internet to enrage everybody. Cause concern. But we're supposed to just sit back and watch you do it silently. Like good girls and boys. I went on a makeup spree today, and I know a lot of people are gonna say that's a bit excessive, but you guys should look at the people on YouTube. They have so much makeup that I can't even like think straight. Ah yes, the argument that everyone on YouTube has way more makeup than they need. Well, those makeup gurus, most of them are um, makeup artists or have taken workshops or have practiced their asses off to do their makeup over and over and over and are now showing other people through tutorials. Um, that's why they have that makeup and they use it just about every fucking day. You don't. So can you stop doing that? Well, if they can do it, I can do it too. Shit, you sound like a child. It's annoying. So I'm just trying to add to my collection and I want to show you guys what I got. I'm not going to like go through every single thing because there's just, a, there's a lot. So I got some eyeshadows, hard candy, Milani, and this is Revlon tons of lipsticks you guys from all kinds of brands Anastasia we have some NYX L'Oreal CoverGirl Milani um Too Faced just like all kinds of stuff and like I said I did get some nail polishes we got tons of eyeshadow over here I did get some hydrating drops because my face is super super dry after I do my makeup and you guys know that Jeffree Star swears by this. It's the Poreless Putty Primer, so I'm going to try using that. This is a dewy mist that'll also help with the dryness of my face. I got the Hydrating Face Primer, so I have two new primers I'm going to try. So yeah, it's just like a bunch of new makeup, and I'm really excited to try this stuff. Like, makeup has become an art, and I just love experimenting now. I also got this really cute makeup bag. This is actually going to be for my lipsticks. I love this. I thought it was super cute. The brand is Taylor Brooke. I am trying a new way of keeping my makeup and I'll definitely show you guys in a future video because so far it's been working for me like really good. So I also ended up getting these beautiful makeup brushes. Don't mind the trash. <laughs> I'm throwing all my... um trash over there you guys can see it in the corner all my makeup trash because I just um took all my makeup and put it away but you guys look how beautiful these are I really needed makeup brushes okay you guys so before I forget we should do YouTube ram random comment picker so I'm going with the last vlog I uploaded I know the last video I uploaded was a torrid haul but I want to do these based on vlogs since this is a vlog oh you should have done a toward haul. You know, you're missing a great opportunity to prove those haters and those bullies wrong. You'd see, just by doing the comments on that one, you could prove once and for all that so many people request those toward hauls. You know, because when it would randomly pick those questions, comments, and blah, 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 they would pop up with thank yous for answering my prayer for these torrid halls, right? Right? 
right? So last one was Becky's huge hair transformation and I got a little over 3,200 comments. Randomly pick winner. Honest with herself, L -M -L -M -A -O. yeah, that will never happen, which is why she will always be a toxic lump of You don't know me in person. So when people say like things like this, I'm over here like, mm, you don't know me in person. <laughs> if I was these things, I wouldn't have people in my life. People wouldn't want to be in my life. That's just the way I see it. Oh, you're so right. No one knows you in your real life. So what you're telling me is when you do these videos, you're not being yourself. You're being someone else. You're showing us someone who's an asshole. A spoiled, self-centered asshole. So we're reacting only to what you show us. That you are. So how can you blame us for thinking you're a toxic person? Oh, and by the way, I'd also like to throw in some evidence that you're a toxic person. There was a little shit video that uh, Big Bitter Me did, Foodie Beauty, where she flashed people's dead bodies on the screen from the Heaven's Gate suicide. Um, you had to not know what happened but you chimed in anyways jumping on a foodie beauty side what you commented on it was really disgusting because obviously you thought what she did to use those people's death to get views was perfectly fine and that makes you a disgusting person. Here, let me read the comment in case you don't know. Let me get my little, little glasses, because you gotta have your business glasses on when you read disgusting comments, shall we? <sighs> I love you for being so strong and standing up against bullying. You've always stuck up for me and that makes me appreciate you even more. Bullying has become such a norm in society these days. Unfortunately, even speaking out about it will get you bullied even more. They will always point a finger at you for something so small, but then turn around and justify the way they treat people. You can't get through someone's head when it's clouded by trying to be the next best bully. No one is perfect, but at least we admit our flaws. Bullies take our flaws, our past, our weaknesses, and pain, and use it for their gains. I do believe that everything happens for a reason. So sometimes I thank the rude, disgusting, and cruel people for making me a strong person when I was scared of becoming weak. I'm praying right now, Amber, that when you wrote that, that you didn't know that after flashing the picture of those people dead, on the screen and going on and on about the orgasmic taste of her stupid fucking cheese. She later made comments about how news stations made fun of those people, which they didn't. Later she liked a comment about the catchphrase for Nikes being just do it and that's why they wore them during the suicide. She also liked a comment calling them cowards. She also said that I believe that mental illness had anything to do with them being in a cult. 
you know, people are in cults all the time because they're just looking for something to believe in. It doesn't make them mentally ill. You co-signed on that, Amberlynn. Which makes you a piece of shit person, too. But I guess we're moving on. That was the happiest she looked in days, and it's kind of sad. I don't know who you're referring to. If you're talking about me, I'm actually, I've actually been in great moods lately. Um, I just feel like a happier person. Like, my medicine is working really well. I'm, I'm gonna admit that. So don't be scared to talk to people. If something is wrong, see a psychiatrist. I know medicine is not a fix-all. It might take a while to find the right one, but it's working for me. Or if you're talking about Becky, um, she is currently going through something right now and we don't want to share that. And it'll explain why she's always looking sad. Um, it is heartbreaking, but we're trying to just move forward and... Um, I have spent a lot of nights crying, but I'm trying my hardest to be the opposite of that because I don't want Becky to see me breaking down because then it'll just make her break down even more. So I'm trying to be like the strong one in this situation because I don't want her to be more hurt than she already is. All right, buttercup, suck it up because they were talking about Becky. But I like how you made that whole thing about you, as usual. And it's funny, you said something about, you know, going to a therapist and everything, because as far as I'm concerned, you are so hypocritical at this point, I don't give a shit. I'm done with you and your positive crap. You leaving a comment on Foodie Beauty's page to support her as she basically spits on suicide victims and their family's dignity, you can suck it. Your positive care bear bullshit just gets on my nerves now. The more and more you say all this positive crap and not, you know, at all adhere to it is, is driving me nuts. I've seen the past shit you've done, so this care bear crap is getting on my nerves. We all know the shit you've done. And you are still doing. In this friggin' video, you literally insulted your roommates about their couple's costume. You can see in his face that he just wanted to come across the table and smack the teeth out of your mouth. Well, what was left of the teeth in your mouth? You're so unbelievably rude. You just fucking said there's something going on in your girlfriend's life, but you made it all about you. You cry yourself to sleep. She's sad, but you cry yourself to sleep. You have to be strong for her, but you're crying yourself to sleep. Stop. You're fake. Um, that's a reply to someone, so I'm gonna do one more. Acting stupid is not quirky or cute, Amber. You are almost 30. Oh my god, I know. <laughs> In two months, I'm gonna be 29. I am forever grateful that I wake up breathing every single day and I try to be as positive as I can every single day. And I think it's funny that like people think I'm trying to be stupid. The sad part is, I just am. I'm not trying to be cute. I'm not trying to be quirky. Quirky, quirky, whatever the word is. I'm not trying to be anything. I'm just trying to be myself. I'm just being myself, living my life. <laughs> and if you think I'm acting stupid, that's your opinion. So I am going to go now. I need to get this video edited. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Well, you heard her, folks. She's being her. She's just stupid. She's just really that stupid. But earlier she said, you don't know her in real life. So you can't judge her. Anyways, I'm glad it's over because I am tired and sick and I could use a nappy poo right now. That's what I'm saying. Seriously, could use a nap.
him too. He's thirsty. You good? He's good. Um, but that is the video, guys. I will see you guys another time. Like, subscribe, share. But if you don't, it's fine. I will be here drenched in snot with a fever. Dreaming of uh, Clive Stanton. He's the brother of the lead character from Vikings. Mm. His character's name is Rollo. Yes, it is. And his amazing people skills. And I will talk to you guys on another day. Be nice to each other. Stay away from Torrid. <laughs> And I will talk to you guys later. Deuces.